Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 28th of August 2020 and it's a reading that's dedicated to the sign of Virgo. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels good with you and leave the rest aside. If ever you would like to have your own personal reading, you're searching for some guidance, for some answers, some clarity, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Also, if you look into the YouTube drop box, you will find all the necessary information in order to book a reading with me. And I must say, I only have a few spots left for this week. Uh, first come, first serve. So whenever, you know, I hit my quota for this week, the uh, extra readings will be going, the extra requests will be going to the following week. Um, if ever you do, um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy my channel, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to myself and to the channel and it is always greatly appreciated. So uh, with no further ado, oh, after this reading, stay tuned. I have another reading which is entitled, Should I Break Up? That is going to be coming next. So as for today, you have the beautiful card of forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Now, forgiveness is the cornerstone of love. To be fully aligned with the power of love, it requires complete forgiveness of self and others. Now, you may find this hard to accomplish because you are letting your ego be in the driver's seat. When you can't forgive, it is the ego that is holding on to the past hurts and the feeling of not being in control. Now, forgiveness will remove old blockages and cause an emotional distress, allowing love energy to work through you. Now, by forgiving, you are not excusing or condoning a particular behavior. Instead, you are willing to understand the lesson being presented. You are not necessarily obligated to reconcile. You can forgive and choose not to involve yourself with that person or situation ever again. The saying forgive and forget is a misnomer. For you should never forget a lesson. Bless the experience, but always remember what you learned from it. When you forgive, you open yourself up to the positive and loving experiences that the universe wants to bestow upon you. Now there is a room for them in the space formerly taken up by babysitting those horrible and toxic feelings. So this is your daily snapshot of the day. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that you're going to apply this lovely card of forgiveness. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the following readings. If you ever would like your own personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Have a great day and thank you so much for being there. I'll see you soon.